Hi, okay, so now that we've focused on our negative emotions, and not even all of them, we've really focused on the spectrum of anger and sadness, but there's a lot of other ones that we can focus on, like guilt and shame, and, you know, feeling, you know, just all these different jealous, different emotions. There's different emotions like that, and I'm sure you can write down a list, and then you can notice yourself. Just notice when you feel those and what has happened before or after and what contributes to that. But today, I wanna to focus on something different. So today we're gonna to focus on the good emotions. So probably if you've uh, got an illness, if you're sick, if you've got a chronic illness, if you're in pain, if you're suffering in any way, um, you're mostly feeling negative emotions, anger, shame, guilt, sadness, loneliness, feeling out of control, fear. Uh, there's so many emotions like this, right? Um, and you're not looking for the good emotions. So today I want you to start to look, right? For love and joy and happiness, calm, peace, um, comfort, all these things that we want, joy, right? Everything that we feel that we are looking for, that we want. Do you ever feel them? Do you ever feel joy or happiness or love? You know, do you ever get a moment of calm or comfort or peace? Do you ever feel that thing? And I know sometimes if you're very symptomatic, it can be, be very few and far between, but sometimes you will feel that. Um, you'll get a moment of calm or peace or comfort or joy or love or hope or whatever it is. And I want you to, when that happens, I want you to be very careful in examining this. What are you doing? What's your environment? Who are you with? What have you just eaten? What's the weather? Are you indoors or outdoors, right? What's your environment? Who are you with? What activity are you doing? What are you feeling? You know, do you always get a moment of peace or calm at the end of the day when you sit down and have your cup of tea? Um, I want to show with your husband. Do you get a moment of joy when you hug and kiss and, um, you know, put your children to bed? Is there something that happens? Who are you with? What's your environment? What have you just eaten? What activity are you doing? What are the factors going on? And I want you to even note these more than the bad ones. Of course, we have to note the bad ones so that we know, you know what's happening and how we can eliminate that. But what I think we forget is to take note of any good, you know, finding the good, finding any piece of health or happiness or love or joy or calm or comfort or, you know, reduce symptoms, whatever it is, when you feel that, I really want you to take note. I even want you to get a notebook and dedicate it to jotting down what's going on. Who are you with? What's your environment? What has preceded this, you know, by 15 minutes, a half an hour, an hour, two hours, the day? How has this been allowed to happen, right? Because it's strange, right? That sometimes your body can be in serious suffering, pain, symptoms, everything going wrong. And on the flip side, sometimes you can be feeling like, wow, I'm healing, things are calming down, I'm feeling better, um, I'm able to enjoy this, whatever it is. And we really need to figure out the factors. But we need to take notice and we need to turn off all the other sounds, our podcasts, you know, our thoughts. What are we thinking when we, when we feel good? What, what thoughts are going through our mind and how are they different from when we feel bad? I know this sounds basic, but until you continually notice the good and the bad every day and think, what happened just before this, right? What, but, not, but don't just say, what did I eat and stop there? It's the environment, what's the temperature, who's there? Um, what am I thinking, what are my thoughts? What just happened, is there any events? What's my exercise like or my stress level? And then do it on the flip side for the good. And we really need to kind of keep a journal we need to meditate on this. We need to think about these things when we're doing our waking, walking meditation. And also when we're closing our eyes and we're sit down and we're just asking these questions and letting the answers just 
quiet and come to us. Not forcing an answer, but just giving our mind room to, to explore the answers and think of the answers because we're not thinking of a million different things. That's all meditation is, right? It's just giving your mind the space to come up with and to, to let the answers that is, are inside you come to the surface because you're not filling it with what do I have to do for, for work or what's my to-do list or oh, I have to cook this or do that or see this person. Right, we're eliminating that, not eliminating all thought, eliminating the, the junk, the garbage, this, the loud noise. And we're just giving our minds room to percolate on questions or consider what's deep inside us, what thoughts and feelings and emotions and ideas and what our hearts and gut instincts are telling us. So we're going to meditate on this. We're going to journal about it and you're going to keep a list and jot it down. So for the next two days, I want you to notice the good feelings, right? And then after that, we're going to notice the good and the bad. But I want you to start with love, joy, peace, calm, comfort, happiness, feeling good, vibrance, you know, just a moment of hope or clarity and really try to hone in on what came before it, what factors led to it, all of them, right? From food to environmental, to thoughts, to thinking, to people, and really become aware of it. I'm not gonna go and say it again, but it is so important. So I wish you luck on doing this exercise today and listening to your good emotions and not forgetting about those.